Well, for millions of people, the Brady Bunch was the perfect, wholesome family and matriarch Carol, the perfect mother. But Florence Henderson's real life couldn't be further from that image. I caught up with the actress recently to hear about her autobiography. Florence Henderson, good morning. Now, you have spent your life as an icon of American wholesomeness and yet you've written a book that probably sets out almost to debunk that notion. Why was that? Well, I thought if I'm going to write an autobiography, I'm going to tell the truth about my life, warts and all, and that's, that's what I did. You are one of ten children, and unlike the Bradys, it wasn't the easiest of childhoods. No, my, my childhood was quite different from, uh, from the Bradys, and people often ask me, you know, um, why did you portray Carol Brady like that? And I said, well, I wanted her to be the kind of mother that uh, I wished that I'd had as a child. And uh, so many young people come up to me today and say, you, you really raised me, you were my mother. So I realized that that little show has given comfort to, to millions of people all over the world. Now, the Brady Bunch was just about fashion central in the 70s. I'm trying to work out which is more iconic, Carol Brady's haircut or Marsha's long, straight hair. You know, it's interesting because I did Dancing with the Stars here last season. I went into a, a restaurant after the show and the young waitress had my, my mullet hairdo. <laughs> and I said, you didn't happen to uh, do your hair that way because of, of my my do on, on the Brady Bunch. She said, yes, I did, I always do. And I thought, Were you the first married couple to ever be seen in bed together on, on TV? We were. We were the first couple to sleep in the same bed on television. Before that, I mean, uh, if the man sat on the bed with the wife or whatever, uh, he had to have one foot on the floor. They never showed a couple in the same bed. And I always insisted on wearing a beautiful nightgown. And of course, you know, I had makeup on. Um, but Florence Henderson, you know, I sleep in flannel pajamas and, <laughs> and uh, no makeup. <laughs> when was the last time you caught yeah. up with the cars, Florence? Uh, actually, I just saw Eve Plum a few days ago here in New York City, and uh, and Barry Williams, uh, you know, so my that's Dave, Jan and Greg. Greg. Yes, and you know, Greg um, Barry Williams has a little boy named Brandon who is so adorable, and he looks exactly like Barry did when he started the Brady Bunch. It's it's the freakiest thing to to see the two of them together. Very cute. Uh, of course, um, a lot of the cast have written their own books um, that, that really concentrated on the Brady years. And Barry famously talked about how he not only had a massive crush on you, but that you two actually went out on, the day, on a date. Is that true? Yes, yes, we did. Barry was uh, 15 years old, and I knew he had a terrible crush on me. And there was a singer appearing in L.A., and he said, would you go with me, would you be my date? And I said, sure. And uh, it was a lot of fun. We went and we heard the singer and when, when he brought me home, he gave me a kiss on the cheek. And how that got blown up into something that, it just will not die, that, that we had an affair and all of that and it just wasn't true. Well, these but days... we laugh about it now. And you know, <laughs> now Barry is old enough I could date him actually. You could be the ultimate cougar, Florence. Yeah, right. <laughs> Florence Henderson, the book is called Life Is Not A Stage. It is a great read and thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. It's lovely to chat with you. Thank you, Lisa. She really is a lovely lady and that book will be in the bookstores next week. Now, for those of you wondering about where all those Bradys are now, now Maureen McCormick is now 55. She, of course, played the oldest daughter, Marsha. 55, and she's done some reality TV after a well-publicised eating disorder. Jan, the middle child, she's now 53, played by Eve Plum, is an actress off-Broadway and a very successful artist. Unfortunately, that's Cindy that we've got there. So let's concentrate on Cindy. So there's Jan. Jan. OK, so she's now a very successful artist, 53. Back to Cindy. Cindy is now 50. Now, contrary to popular belief, she did not become a porn star, but she worked in radio, graphic design and makes Brady-based public appearances. God, remember those pigtails. Now, 
Now, over on the boys' side, we've got Greg, um, played by Barry Williams. He's now 57, still an excellent head of hair. Yeah. Um, now, he's continued acting and currently has a supper show based on the Brady legend. Middle child, played by Christopher Knight, is now yeah. 53. Where's Peter? There's yeah. Peter. Oh, yeah. um, he left acting to join the software industry, but returned to a bit of reality TV work with his oh. wife. And Bobby, the youngest one, Ooh. he's now 50, played by Mike Lookenland. Of course, he found a career behind the lens as a cameraman and remains friends with his on-screen baby sister. And, of course, Carl's favourite, Alice, the housekeeper. She lived under the stairs, played by Anne B. Davis. She's now 85 wow. and she still does the occasional TV commercial. And, sadly, of course, Robert Reed, who played Dad Mike, Brady died back in 1992. So there you go, Carla. Trip down memory lane for you. A fantastic trip, Lisa. Thank Isn't you so great? much for that. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it was a wonderful show. The fabric of our lives. Yes. Or something like that. Well, two of the world's most famous and photographed women have joined forces for a good cause. Princess Mary of Denmark and her British counterpart, the Duchess of Cambridge. There they are. They're beautiful girls, aren't they? A Nines Europe correspondent, Peter Stefanovic, is in Copenhagen. Of course he is. Good morning, Pete. The uh, couples met today in Copenhagen at the home of Crown Prince Frederick and Princess Mary. How was the meeting? It went very well, Carl, and those pictures have gone absolutely everywhere today. It was the first public meeting between the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Crown Prince and Princess of Denmark. The two golden royal couples toured around the UNICEF warehouse here in Copenhagen. They even packed a few uh, aid boxes, uh, which will be delivered tonight to East Africa. And these are two... Uh, this is one charity. The UNICEF charity uh, is a charity that both royal couples really care about. And to give you an idea of how much they do... Princess Catherine gave an interview today. It's her first interview since her engagement was announced last year. Well, I think it was initially a very big story. A lot of people did hear about it. But I think, because it has been going on, um, people have perhaps lost track of the terrible situation. So I think this hopefully will um, put the, back, back, uh, the light back on. No doubt that will be a charity that both couples continue to support. Indeed. Now, of course, uh, all the fashionistas, Peter Keen, know what the Crown Princess and the Duchess of Cambridge were wearing. Uh, you have an eye uh, for this kind of detail. Yeah, I've got all the details on this one too, Carl. Remembering it was very cold today, but three out of the four royals went with dark colours. But Princess Catherine tried to brighten the mood a little bit. She was wearing a red coat and belt and some black uh, knee-length boots. Now, I was talking to uh, some of the uh, British tabloid reporters to get the lowdown to ask them which of the princesses looked better. And surprisingly, they went with our princess, Princess Mary. They thought uh, Princess Catherine looked a little tired. Yeah, well, she's maybe been a bit busier. <laughs> um, now, Crown Prince Frederick and uh, Princess Mary will, will, will pay, pay Australia a, bit, a visit later this month. Uh, what is on the agenda? Well, it's a four-week tour, Carl, that begins on the 19th of November, which is an impossible date to forget. They'll be covering uh, Melbourne, Sydney and Canberra. It's mostly about going to see Princess Mary's family, but, of course, they'll be bringing the two new additions to the family, the twins, down to Australia because there are thousands of people who want to see them. All right. You sound like you've got a little sniffle. Um, get thee to bed, maybe have some honey and, uh, and water with a little nip of scotch in it. You'll be better by the morning, OK, bro? <laughs> Will do. Okay. I will do. May even have two. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> you too. Up next, why a diet of salmon and tomatoes could be the secret to staying young. You're watching today. We're back in a sec. <laughs>